When did they make Mario the captain? Was he always the captain, or...? And also, how did the Battletoad come here? Is this the place that he, he likes to come train at? Oh, also, I forgot to mention this, but... Why is Charlie to not at these areas? He, he was only in Chapter 2 for whatever reason? My guess is that the shop is like one of the few shops that's like... Out of the way? Oh, I should have, uh, Goombala out. Oh well. If I had quick change on, that wouldn't be an issue, but... I mean, quick change is just so much BP. There are benefits to quick change, because, like... Ooh, that's a nice anger spray. Um... No, don't do that. What am I doing? I guess I'll clock out. Uh, probably the best thing about quick change is that... Uh, storing, uh, buffs on your partners is pretty good. It's really broken on Yoshi. And Goombella, I guess, too. Okay, let's swap to Goombella. That's a rude Goomba. Fine, man. Uh, I think we're gonna have to swap to Coops. I wish I had some ice storms. I can buy them, so I might grab a couple in case I need a. Because there is that force fight you get with Boppers, so that might be useful. I can't really do much here. Oh, I just realized... Oh no, this isn't the battle music. I think this is just regular event battle music. Um, let me switch to... Uh, Coops. And then have him do Power Shell. I think I'll have Mario appeal and then just have Coops attack. Also, I should probably rearrange my badges, because I don't remember what I had. I think the last time I had them was when I was fighting Mush. And I mean, obviously earlier I was doing the uh, on nice. Get the double XP. Um, earlier I changed it for refund testing, but... <laughs> it wasn't that much that I changed. Just took off a couple of the weaker badges that I'm not really using. Um, so badges... Mega Rush is pretty good. That's peril stuff, right? Jumpman might be good, but I can't, uh, fully utilize it at the moment. Um, Ice Smash... Power Smash? I don't know if it'll be that good. Get rid of refund. Hammerman is tempting. So we got flower savers. Um, if I forego that, I could have more damage, or they could. Let's put it on Mario. I think we can get two ice storms here. <laughs> Oof, expensive. But they may be expensive because you'd <laughs> want to use this here. And make this cheap as hell because <laughs> and you don't want to use that here. What do you have to say, Battle Toad? Or Battle Master? I forget if he had one for Mouse. Yeah, he did. Nothing? Huh.
Also, I think I forgot to check. I think there was something over here as well. Yeah, star piece. Let's switch to Lylebert. So, I don't know if they changed it. In the Japanese version, uh, one of these trees you can hit and it gives you the Keel Mango. Ooh, it was a very jungly theme. I like it. Uh, one of the trees here uh, gives you the Keel Mango. In the American version, uh, you have to wait until after you beat the chapter to get it, I believe. So, I guess I'll find out if they did that, but I think in the Japanese version, you can get the Kill Mangoes here. Okay, so you can just get Kill Mangoes. Nice. So that was a change that they made. Also, this Pink Fuzzy was not here in the original. So I wonder if they actually are changing part of this area. Are we making it better, hopefully? Also nice that I put the Power Plus on Mario because I don't think otherwise <laughs> I can one-shot these guys. <laughs> the Xylophone. Or maybe it's a Marimba, I'm not too sure. I think they use Marimbas a lot in uh, island music. Or music befitting an island tone. Um, could go for Heart Attack. Hmm, what would be the best case here? Guess I could just attack. They're not like super dangerous. Let's try this. Okay, so this is one guy to deal with. If I had a zap tap, this, these fights would be uh, a cakewalk, but could not put that on. Maybe I should consider that. So there is a, a tricky uh, item here, not this. Um, also, I should probably switch to Cumbella. I'll see the Kyo Mango. There is a tricky item here that you would only find out if you talk to uh, Wonky, and I'll show off how you get that when I get next to it. Uh. Future Piranha. I like the color scheme on this one. This is one of the other enemies that poisons you. Um, let's see, there's this. There was... Does Blooper poison you or am I thinking of like a... Oh, oh hard mode version of that. Yeah, I don't remember. I think there's like five enemies in the game that can poison you. I'm gonna ice smash this guy, hopefully it freezes him. That was nice.
What does the thing version sound like? Super emphasis on the maroon, but I think. I mean, so far I'm liking the changes. There's only a couple of changes, but it still looks pretty good. Also, I think they made it more apparent that there's a hidden block right here. You can see the rock formation above. It's a <laughs> similar shape to the question block. Also, Goombella just teleports. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> that's, that's a very interesting interaction there. Maybe I should do Art Attack for this. Yeah, I'm doing Art Attack. I could put on Fire Drive, but I'm feeling a little lazy. Yeah, although they made that uh, cursor go faster with Art Attack, I feel like since they had to reduce the time with it, it evens out to about the same amount of time that you get to deal damage with. Is this guy gonna... They fixed this guy's AI because it always would get caught underneath. Down here in the next to these blocks. They fixed it. Oh man. <laughs> I didn't judge the... Uh, depth there properly. Oh, I am so dumb. They put a place where you're supposed to stand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, they should be happy I did notice at least. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for making this less tedious. That is so nice. I mean, it should have been in the original game, but appreciate that it's here now. To make me not suffer. Oh my gosh, I can't hit that tree. <laughs> oh, Thunder Rage, that's great. Um, let's see, I need FP. Let's use this. And since it's not in battle, I won't freeze. issue is like I don't I'm running out of inventory space this is the secret item up I want to keep it but got to figure out what to toss for it is the issue so I think it's right here if you do a spin attack yep, you get jam and jelly what am I gonna toss for jam and jelly I think a courage shell <laughs> I don't need a courage shell that much. So have these guys just been on this part of the island for three days? I mean, I guess they'll be fine on food because there's a coconut tree like right over there. How's that not igniting Bobbery? Because I think usually when he gets hit by a fire attack in the game, he does that exploding action. I think he does, or am I thinking of just regular bro bombs?
Yes, he has, Lilbert. Yes, he has. Well, he didn't have it to begin with, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm just tossing that. I don't want it. I think if you toss these items, um, they stay there if you leave the screen before it despawns. Because it doesn't detect that you picked it up. Yeah, it's still there. So if you want to keep it in coupon, that's how you do it. Uh, normally I would get a... We're going to need a coconut later. But since I'm going to be using my ice storms uh, to say Bobbery, I'll hold off on getting those coconuts. be right with you, Bobbery. I just want to check if there's any items I'm missing. Although, it's kind of moot because <laughs> my inventory is full. Yeah, the freaking Strange Sack actually gave me more inventory than the regular game that Strange Sack gave me. It wouldn't be an issue. But man, I'm still a little bit sour on that, obviously. <laughs> Like really? You only give me five extra inventory? Where I, yeah, originally Strange Shack gave me ten extra inventory. What a letdown. And that's why those things are expensive. They do one extra damage, which is pretty good. He's still gonna want a Chocola soda. Hopefully, they didn't change that. Oh, you can die on us, Bobbery. We need you for the rest of the game. Okay, he still wants a Chocola soda. Or cola. Oh, <laughs> that sounds kind of gross. I wasn't expecting that. I think there's a, a rune powder here, or s right in this one? That's a spite pouch. I don't want that. Okay, well, I guess I'll head back. Stay alive, Bob Rude. We'll be right back. Let me go get a coconut because we need to give that to Flavio. I would like to get another coconut because uh I'm gonna need it for her into making the zest dynamite later, so we can turn that to a coconut bomb. Uh actually, I'd like one more if I can. Just to avoid backtracking later. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh well I'm full right now, so I'll just have to do it on another time. Yeah, let's do it after this chapter, because we'll get the fast travel after this chapter is over and then I have access to some new cooking because we get the oh these guys are back ah oh, dang it I'll just run away from these fights it's fine assuming I can run away okay <laughs> it's fine yeah because we get the the mango, we get the coconut. Uh, do we get anything else? That might be it. That's all I can think of right now. But there's a couple recipes we can make with that, so it's fine.
We need to get that man a soda. Oh, you still have to ask this. I thought it would have been like the other instances in the game where uh, he just immediately asks you if you have something. Is there other instances in the game where that happens? But they fixed it so that they already like ask you and say, uh, do you have this item? Because it stops the conversation, you have to interact with them again. But it's weird that this one was similar to the original game. Well, at least we can skip this part, which is nice. Oh, that's right. I was thinking I have first strike, but <laughs> these aren't considered weak enemies. Uh, should I fight these guys? I think I'm just gonna run away. I don't need all the experience. I'm probably over level two because of me going into the pit. Plus, I already fought them at least once, so <laughs> I'm good. Oh. I want to check one thing. So in the original game, whenever you go down ramps, it's faster, but that yeah, feels a little bit slow. Obviously going up inclines made you slow too, so. Okay. Here's your drink, Lowry. Also, if you guys drink soda, I try not to drink it too much, but if I do, I love it in a nice glass bottle. It just tastes better in my opinion because like glass doesn't really ruin the taste of a uh, soda whereas if it's like in a can or yeah I, I guess partially in a can kind of affects the taste whereas with glass it's like a pure form of it and if i can't have it in glass bottle i like to pour it in a glass cup just in my mind, it tastes better, but that's probably not like, uh, what is it? It's a placebo kind of thing that I just think it tastes better. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, wow, Bobby, Bobbery's theme is going pretty hard. I was expecting more of a piratey theme, but it's like more like metally rock kind of which maybe makes more sense for a guy who who blows himself up oh that's an interesting form of showing how bobbery uh puzzle mechanic works there are very few times where bobbery goes on a ledge or on a slightly higher up platform now we gotta go back. Oh, that's the full wheel. Unless they added a secret partner. I doubt it. Oh, now I should go and get the extra coconut. And that way I can just put two coconuts in storage. Because I need... Uh... One for cocoa candy, and then the other for the coconut bomb. I still have... Okay, I have two. You know what? Maybe I should have Florida stun the, uh... Fuzzy there. 
Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> well, I guess I can use Yoshi. That way I can avoid the Piranha Plant. Ah, oh, dang it. Should've went down, but instead I went up. Uh, I can finish this fight, so I'll probably just do it instead of running away. I, I don't know if they're going to change the music when you go inside the cave, though. I feel like they should, but... We'll see. Talks too much. It's probably the source for the majority of dialogue in this chapter, anyways. Like this, and then his diary entries. Oh, you know what I never realized? That the shop here is made from scraps from the ship. I never really noticed that before. Makes sense, though. And all the other stuff they got was scraps from the ship. <laughs> That's a nice little fanfare. Yeah, because you can see this whole star thing was part of the ship. Or Yoji has to carry Flavio as well. Oh, that's cool. Flavio has his own little theme attached to the song. Looks like Flavio's had it should <laughs> uh, trigger it, but oh well. I think I was going to talk about Bob right now. Because he's added for Flavio here. Is that didgeridoo? It sounds like it. Let's get Flurry out here. I kind of wish Yoshi wasn't the uh, de facto partner for if you want to walk around places faster, you use him. Because it kind of, for me personally, it limits on what partners I want to have out at all times. 
Because it's just so nice being able to run faster or travel faster. And I do want to see other partners out there, but I also like zip zooming all over the place. He's the only partner that lets me do that. Uh, let's, let's have it out, I guess. I gotta, I think, look at this first. But it's not yours, Flavio. Your family stole it from, uh... The Pirate King. I mean, it makes sense for pirates to steal stuff, so... But they don't have any, uh... Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I think I have to jump on his... On top of his head. I don't think he can run away from this, too. Yep. Uh... Vivian, appeal. So she gives us enough uh, SP. What? Oh, that's weird. It didn't auto update it. The original game did that. It was like this. There we go. I would need to use Bobbery though. I want to finish this puzzle. Just kind of obvious. You can see this bomb puzzle here. I think in the original you can control Bobbery to go off a little bit faster, but I, I was pressing a X and it didn't let me make it go faster. Oh well. Interesting change though. I guess it makes sense they want it to be more of a cutscene. Alright, we're done with Flavio. Get out of here. 